Hey guys, Lori here, pharmacist. Had a mother write in about the vitamin K shot. Wanted information on that, so here we go. We started giving vitamin K to newborns via injection in 1961 in the US. It has to do with brain bleeding, the potential for brain bleeding because vitamin K is involved in the proper clotting of the blood. Infants are naturally born with low levels of vitamin K because not a lot crosses the placenta. And it is transferred in breast milk, but if the mother's not getting enough in her diet, an adequate amount, then that could lead to low levels of vitamin K. The infants have a, the potential to be, um, the brain bleeding issue can come up anywhere from zero to six months. So, it, you know, it's something to be cognizant of. However, what's the problem with the vitamin K shot? Part of the problem is, and I gotta say this too, the incidence before we started giving vitamin K was low. I couldn't find the US statistics. I did find Europe statistics and it's somewhere like 4.4 to 7.2 per 100,000. It's, and actually in the 1930s, 40s and early 50s, it was um, two per thousand, then it was uh, 1.8 per thousand, and then it dropped to 0.45 per thousand. So, but of course, you know, are we going to remedy the situation by talking to people about diet and how they can boost their vitamin K levels naturally? No, we're going to, we're going to give them a shot. So the shot carries the black box warning because people have died from both IV and intramuscular, which is what your, your infant's going to get, injection. It also contains benzyl alcohol as a preservative, which is potentially, um, is, can be toxic to newborns. Also contains aluminum, a very small amount. I say very small because if the hep B shot that they're going to give your infant to, if you signed up for that, contains 10,000 times more aluminum than the vitamin K shot. Not that any of us need aluminum injected in any level, but just to give you that ratio. Uh, the vitamin K is also available orally, so that's something else to consider, and it does not have a black box warning. My daughter's nine months pregnant, and that's what she's signed up for, is oral vitamin K, and I'm also telling her, of course, eat your leafy greens. So, Foods that are high in vitamin K are leafy greens, spinach, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, things that really all of us should be getting in our diet because it's, they're chock full of antioxidants and nutrients. They're the types of foods that are help with digestion, with boosting the immune system, the whole bit. So I highly recommend you um, put those in your diet if you don't have them several times a week, if not every day. Again, the mother, it is transferred through breast milk, so the mother can boost her vitamin K levels and ensure that her child is getting plenty of vitamin K by eating those leafy greens again and that kind of thing. And everybody should be good, really, especially if you're given the oral. So, that's it from here. Again, you know, it's all about informed consent. It's all about you doing your research and making sure that you know what's being injected into your child. Um, you know, I find it interesting infants are born with low levels of vitamin K. My children, actually shortly after they were born, they both got vitamin K shot because it just never even crossed my mind to question, okay? And they both ended up jaundice. They say that is not related to the vitamin K. Um, I'm kind of like, then what else would it be, you know? But because suddenly you've hit the liver, the creator of course designed the infants to be born that way with low levels of vitamin K for a reason. Um, so interfering with that, I don't know, that's up to you. That's your, that's your call, your decision. So as always, do your research. If you have any other questions, uh, Lori Wise, pharmacist at gmail.com, or you can contact me through Facebook, either private message me or my page, The Wise Pharmacist. So any other questions, any other videos that you'd like to see or need info on, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for.
All right. Love you guys. Talk soon.